The leaders criticized Israel for its military campaign in Gaza and called for an end to the fighting that continues to take a toll on mostly civilian Palestinians at the Non-Aligned Movement, or NAM, summit in Uganda. Some even described the war in Gaza as immoral and unacceptable. But will their calls for a ceasefire be heard? Here is our cover report. Scores of heads of state and senior officials gathered in Uganda for the closing ceremony of the non-aligned movement. Condemnation of Israel's military action in Gaza dominated the closing sessions. Two of the top diplomats of the United Nations rallied the 120-member bloc to condemn what they called the indiscriminate attacks against Palestinian civilians. The non-aligned movement was officially established in 1961 by countries that chose not to align with either the US or the Soviet Union, the two major Cold War era military and political blocs. Human rights, international law, the Geneva Convention and the UN Charter are being flouted with impunity. And conflicts are raging and proliferating from Sudan to Ukraine to Gaza. Following the aborted Hamas attacks on 7 October, the wholesale destruction of Gaza and the number of civilian casualties caused by the Israeli army in such a short period are totally unprecedented during my mandate. Criticizing Israel for its military campaign in Gaza, African leaders call for an end to the fighting that continues to take a toll on mostly civilian Palestinians. The African Union Commission Chairman and Chadian Foreign Minister Musa Faki Mohammed described the war in Gaza as immoral and unacceptable. Echoing his remarks, South African President Cyril Ramaphosa called for the release of all hostages and the resumption of peace talks between Israel and Hamas-run Gaza. Africa condemns this unacceptable, moral, legal and humanitarian failure and demands an immediate end to the unjust war against the Palestinian people and for the immediate implementation of the two-state solution. I again express the African Union's full and unwavering support to the Palestinian people. We, the resistance fighters of Uganda, are flabbergasted and look down with contempt at the philosophical, ideological, and strategic shallowness of some of the actors of the world. Why not respect freedom of everybody if you say you are a Democrat? If you say you are a Democrat, why don't you respect the, the freedom of everybody? How can you say you are a Democrat and yet you want other people to be slaves? At the start of the conference, the Palestinian ambassador to the UN called on the NAM members to pressure Israel to implement a ceasefire in Gaza after 100 days of war with the militant group Hamas. He said despite the UN General Assembly and the Security Council's resolutions, a ceasefire remained elusive. I must tell you that I'm deeply concerned and indeed dismayed about the ongoing calamity in the Gaza Strip. And so I call upon this movement to exert its influence in bringing a halt to the carnage that we are haplessly witnessing. That situation behoves us to ask, how much is enough? Nearly all the African countries belong to the NAM. They comprise nearly half its members. Other members range from India and Indonesia to Saudi Arabia and Iran, Chile, Peru and Colombia. The non-aligned movement was formed during the collapse of the colonial systems and at the height of the Cold War, it played a key part in the decolonization processes. Bureau Report, We On, World Is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.